The Tennessee Highway Patrol's Interdiction Plus team and Knoxville District Troopers stopped and arrested two fugitives from justice in Campbell County last Thursday night. Local law enforcement officials assisted in the effort. Juan Davis Darian Arrington, age 23, of Ackworth, Georgia, and Jamar Devon Greer, 19, of Woodstock, Georgia, were wanted by Cherokee County, Georgia authorities for homicide and carjacking. They were arrested by Tennessee State Troopers and charged with being fugitives from justice. Trooper Adam Bowman, with the THP's East Bureau Interdiction Team, stopped the 2007 Dodge Magnum for speeding, doing 75 miles per hour in a 65 mile zone. This happened on Interstate 75 northbound at the 75 mile marker at approximately 7.34 p.m. Thursday. Upon initial contact, the occupants indicated that they were en route to Chicago, Illinois. However, Trooper Bowman discovered discrepancies in their story, which led to further investigation. He ran a validation check on both occupants' driver's license that returned with a non-extra offense on Greer. After the occupants refused to consent to search the vehicle, Trooper Bowman requested a K-9 to respond to the scene. A team with the Loudoun County Sheriff's Department arrived and the K-9 did not alert on the vehicle. Trooper Bowman then issued a warning citation for speeding and released the vehicle. Roughly 20 minutes later, the Knoxville District Dispatch Center received a be on the lookout for a suspect vehicle wanted in a carjacking and homicide in the Cherokee County jurisdiction. It was the same vehicle and suspects that Bowman had stopped moments ago. Dispatchers then called out the BOLO to Tennessee State Troopers and communicated with Cherokee County officials and local law enforcement agencies about the suspect's potential whereabouts. Meanwhile, Trooper Brad Keaton of the Knoxville District was conducting observation on Interstate 75 northbound at mile marker 112. He noticed the suspect vehicle traveling northbound a short time after the bolo. Trooper Keaton traveled behind the suspect vehicle until backup units arrived. Anderson County officials stopped all northbound traffic several times before the planned traffic stop, while Campbell County authorities were in place to assist during the traffic stop. Trooper Keaton and THP Lieutenant Johnny McDonald initiated the traffic stop on Interstate 75 northbound at the 140 mile marker in Campbell County at approximately 9.17 p.m. They apprehended the two suspects without incident. This was a perfect example of the capabilities of our agency, THP Colonel Tracy Trott said. From the dispatchers to the interdiction team to the road troopers, everyone worked together to apprehend two dangerous suspects and allow justice to be served. We also thank the local law enforcement authorities for working with us and helping to keep the public safe. He added Arrington and Greer were taken to the Campbell County Jail where they will await extradition. Former Hollywood stuntman Ron Broyles was joined Saturday morning at the Campbell County Veterans Monument by friends, former high school classmates, and retired members of the U.S. Armed Forces as he kicked off his 1,200-mile bicycle ride to Key West. Broyles, a 1971 graduate of La Follette High School, 
dedicated his trip to the Wounded Warriors Project, which helps servicemen and service women who are physically or mentally disabled due to combat injuries. The WWW raises 30, 30th and awareness of the wounded veterans from World War II to the current war on terror. Broyles served in the U.S. Navy from 1971 during the Vietnam conflict, but he was not sent to that particular combat theater like so many of his friends and colleagues. You get a little older and you begin to realize the sacrifices they made, said Broyles. If there's any way I can help them, I'm going to do it. Broyles will ride a Trek 5200, the same bike Lance Armstrong used to win the Tour de France. Covers between 80 and 100 miles each day through Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida. It will take Broyles about two weeks to reach his ultimate destination. He plans to arrive in Key West on September the 8th, his 60th birthday. State Representative Dennis Powers, a former high school classmate of Broyles, spoke at Saturday's kickoff event. Campbell County Veterans Service Officer Kevin Walden sang the Star Spangled Banner and another patriotic song. Retired U.S. Army Colonel Logan Hickman also spoke. When Broyles took the podium, he explained the goals of the ride and thanked his many supporters for their help with the WWP. You can donate and follow him online at www.ronsride.net. And the third annual Jake's Day event was held Saturday at the Ball Farm, an event center in East La Folly. More than 200 boys and girls learned how to fish. They learned about shooting, archery, rock climbing, and just about having fun. Here's WLAF's David Graham with the full report. You know, almost nothing beats a good day fishing on a beautiful sunny day. Well, nothing beats a bad day fishing for that matter. 200 boys and girls took part in the third annual Pine Mountain Longbeard's Jake's Day sponsored by the National Wild Turkey Federation held at the Ball Farm Events Center just east of La Follette this past Saturday. Here's the local president of the Pine Mountain Longbeard's chapter, Billy Ball, to tell us what took place. Uh, we're having our third annual uh, Jake's Day event. It's an event sanctioned through the National Wild Turkey Federation. And what we're doing is introducing kids to the outdoors. Right. We have, uh, several different rotations that we're doing today. Uh, we have uh, fishing. Uh, we have uh, sporting plays. Uh, we have uh, an air rifle range, uh, archery. We also uh, have a casting class that the kids are going through. And then we have a uh, TWRAs here with a uh, jet ski simulator. And then we also have a fun zone that has some inflatables and rock wall and uh, some other uh, events in it as well. And we just left the clay shooting down there. We did, just got uh, started with the clays. And that's, you know, that's some good gun safety courses going on down there right yeah, now also. We have, uh, we have uh, all uh, TWRA certified uh, hunter ed instructors down there with them. So we're not turning them loose with just anybody. We have good, uh, good safe people there with them and, and to help to uh, teach them how to shoot and be safe with those guns. Is this the third time it's been at the ball farm? It is. This is our third year uh, now that we've, we've had it here. Uh, this is our uh, biggest event yet. We just keep growing a little bit each year. This year we have around 200 kids, about 135 volunteers, and then ever how many parents and uh, guardians with, right. with the kids. Now, Billy, I noticed the ball farm, uh, they host they host a lot of things. Uh, we have a little of everything here. Uh, we have a lot of weddings, uh, banquets, uh, birthday parties, uh, uh, whatever uh, we've had a little of everything even some concerts and uh, different things come through here now if somebody wants to get involved with the nwtf who would they call how would they get involved uh, i'm the president of the chapter uh they can call me uh also uh, terry lewis is our vice president right. duran carmony is our treasurer 
and uh, Brian Brown is our secretary, and we have many other committee members as well. But contact just anybody that's a member that can hook up with you. Anybody on the committee, just uh, get, uh, get with one of those but people, and uh, they'll get you uh, get you signed up. And we'd be glad to have uh, anybody we can take that's uh, interested in this kind of thing. All right, Billy. Well, we thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. And talk about fishing. Fish wasn't the only thing these little ones got a hook on. Uh, did you catch anything out there? I caught the, my shirt in the trash can. Sheriff Robbie Goins and Camel County's finest were on hand to make sure the guns were pointed in the right direction. Camel County Ambulance Service with paramedics were on hand just in case. Now, September the 7th, the Pine Mountain Longbeards Association and Turkey Hunters Care will have an archery shoot at the Ball Farm. And if you'd like more information on that, you can contact Durand Carmony at 423-871-0605. Now, if you'd like to get into the NWTF, and especially your boy or girl, you can contact any member of the Pine Mountain Longbeards Association or Billy Ball himself to join, and you'd certainly be welcomed. This is David Graham reporting for WLAF News. And that's a look at the news today. We'll take a look at the press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. And there were 36 people booked into the Campbell County Jail this past weekend. Justin Clifford Bolton, 23, of East Kentucky Avenue, La Follette, for violation of probation. 54-year-old Sandra Jean Coggins of Dogwood Drive, La Follette, for promotion of meth manufacture. Derek Wayne Cornett, 35, of Island Road in Jacksboro, for criminal impersonation, criminal conspiracy, driving while revoked, and on a hold for Anderson County. 45-year-old Douglas MacArthur Davis, Jr. of East Bowman Circle of Follett, an attachment for child support. Jackie Lynn Evans, 52, of Clarefield for domestic assault. 24-year-old Joseph A. Gosnell of Jellicoe for criminal trespassing. George Odell Green, 31, of West Prospect Street, La Follette, for harassment. 38-year-old William Carson Hatfield of Jellicoe for theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999 and filing a false statement. 36-year-old Mark Brandon Longmire of Kyle Street in La Follette for possession of a Schedule II and a Schedule VI controlled substance, resisting arrest, driving while revoked, and violation of parole. Kimberly A. Malacote, 43, of Trace Road, La Follette, for promotion of meth manufacture. 23-year-old Kelly Marie Martin of Elkins Road in Jacksboro entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Charlie Jennings Morris, 42, of Trace Road, La Follette, for promotion of meth manufacture, possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. 35-year-old Angela Dawn Murphy of Highway 116 in Caraville for theft of property under $500, vandalism under $500, and possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance. Crystal Gale Muse, 35, of Jellicoe for violation of the light law and driving while revoked. 25-year-old Ashley N. Nance of Lake Mott Lane in Caraville for driving while revoked and an accident involving damage to a vehicle. Bemis Ray Noble, 37, of Kineman, Kentucky for domestic assault. 30-year-old Michelle Ann Norris of Speedwell entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Charles O. Owens, Jr., 19, of State Lane in La Follette for theft of property under $500 and promotion of meth manufacture. William Dustin Parks, 31, of Ray Lane for violation of the Tennessee financial law, violation of the seatbelt law, and on a capious bench warrant. Corbin William Phillips, 21, of Lake City for theft of property under $500 and theft of property 
between $500 and $999. 44-year-old Timothy Allen Powers of Duff for driving on a revoked or suspended license, second offense. Christopher Brent Saylor, 29, of Sharp Acres and Speedwell for aggravated burglary, possession of burglary tools, possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance, resisting arrest, and introduction of contraband into a penal facility. Raymond Lee Schaefer, 47, of Knoxville, for violation of the Sex Offender Registration Act, two counts. 30-year-old John Glenn Shepard of South 8th Street, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Daniel W. Shipp, age 30, of Highway 116 in Lake City, for failure to maintain lane and no driver's license. 30-year-old Shane Kelly Shoops of Reiner Lane in Jacksboro for driving while suspended and violation of the Tennessee financial law. Carla Leanne Seiler, 28, of North 15th Street, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant and violation of probation. Jeff Douglas Snyder, 44, of West Beach Street, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. 32-year-old Heather Nicole Tackett of Pleasant Ridge, La Follette, for DUI, failure to maintain control of a vehicle and violation of the implied consent law. Cindy Peer Tola, 45, of Tackett Loop and Caravel, on a capious bench warrant and bond revocation. 41-year-old Joanne Walden of Gamble Drive in Jacksboro for public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and resisting a stop frisk call search order. Dustin Craig Ward, 28, of Bostic Lane, La Follette, for domestic violence by assault. John Glenn Ward, 47, of Jacksboro Pike, La Follette, by strangulation. And last today, 22-year-old Dexter DeWayne Young of Mount Perkins Lane in Jacksboro for violation of probation. And that wraps up our news and press release for this Monday. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a great weekend and hope you're having a great week and hope you'll join us again back here tomorrow evening. We sing happy birthday to you and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, 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 oh. This is your birthday song. Oh, 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 oh. Celebration all night long. Oh, 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 oh. May all you hey, Big Josh with you once again on this Monday afternoon. We're going to look at our birthdays and anniversaries. Our birthday and anniversary club is brought to you by your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli, located in the Food Lion Center. Today's birthdays, uh, Kristen Love is celebrating. Happy birthday, Kristen. Carolyn Norman's having a birthday today. Happy birthday to Carolyn. Charlene Campbell is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Charlene. Lucille Bean is celebrating today. Happy birthday, Lucille. And Virginia Chadwell. Happy birthday to Virginia. Looking at yesterday, Betty Bunch celebrated. Happy birthday to you, Betty. Amanda Jones turned 25 yesterday. Happy birthday, Amanda. Faith Harness was 14 years old yesterday. Happy birthday to you, Faith. And Ben Turner celebrated. Happy birthday to Ben. Logan Martin had a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Logan. And Lois Brown celebrated yesterday. Happy birthday to you, Lois. And back on uh, Saturday, Heather Cox and Charity Ridener had a birthday. A happy birthday, Heather. And Charity turned six years old. Happy belated birthday to you, Charity. And then Friday, Maggie Wilson celebrated. Happy belated birthday to Maggie. And Evan Cordell had a birthday on Friday. Happy belated birthday to you, Evan. And hey, today, Gary and Cindy Carter are celebrating their anniversary. Happy anniversary to you, Gary and Cindy. We hope you're having a great day. Now, if you're celebrating your birthday or your anniversary and we don't have your name on our list, we still want you to have a good day. But remember this, the only way that you can qualify 
to be in the drawing that we have every Friday is if we have your name on our list. So go ahead and get it in here and you would be eligible to be in the drawing to win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. I'm out of breath. See you tomorrow.